Well, howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another episode. We are in the creek today. Look at how beautiful that water is. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but we got four of the Ultimate Pro Crab Pots. We're going to throw them in the water. Then I got an arrangement of lures on me bait casters. We're going to go throw them. No real target species, obviously, your mangrove jack, your barramundi, and whatnot, but. Just for a bit of fun on this Friday afternoon, just knocked off work, so I thought I'd come put the pots in, soak them overnight, and I'll probably come down with old Jacko tomorrow morning and see how we did. But come along for the ride. It is a beautiful day, I will say. Whew, town's all starting to heat up though. It's going to be a scorcher of a summer, so come along. I'll get these pots loaded up, and I'll bring you along for some of the action. Let's get it, my dudes. And that's a curry special we got a chicken frame and a cod in there as i was saying on the nq fishing show last weekend bloody good bait so actually get on there's a podcast of it get on and have a listen to that not bad and if you do like me um what do i content i suppose me fishing adventures get on and give us a like and a subscribe because it helps a lot and it helps me to do these adventures a lot more it gives me a bit more motivation as well so let's keep going forget these pots in the water and catch some muddies. All right, so we're in a mid-moon period, so I'm gonna put him in the mouth of most of these little tributaries. Bombs away for that fella. Three left to go in, and we might put them out the mouth on some mouths of some little creeks. I'll see you put some crabs to wallow in so we're gonna drop a pot here my friends I think that is a grand idea we will put a pot right there so I'm just gonna reverse up quick little turn and I'll throw it in on my way out perfect turn and we'll get the pot in the water Bombs away. Doesn't matter. There's not a lot of run. We don't have to tie them up this week. Hopefully there's some crabs about. Two pots left. Let's get it. All right. Lucky last pot. Bombs away at the mouth of this creek. We got the four pots in all at the mouths of creeks and that one deep up in the creek. So hopefully that will produce us some rusty buckamusel but i'm gonna head right up the creek now see what it's got to offer see if we can um manage ourselves a nice mangrove jack or something i'll see you when we're there eh let's get it well that's gonna finish the mission for today got the pots in had a quick little fish probably only fished for 45 minutes baited a couple of cod missed some jacks and got me tail bitten off one of them twitches by something i'm assuming it's going to be a barracuda or something but didn't actually see that fish so i can't say what it was but yeah good afternoon down the creek i will see what's in them crab pots in the morning and i don't know we might have a bit of a bait fish tomorrow go back to the roots but we'll see what we're doing see what the tides and the water's like if i can get around to crocky i might do a bit of flicking but Today I could only stay an alligator, she was blowing a gale out there, so um, yeah, we'll see how we go tomorrow, and I'll see you along for the mission. Have a good one. Morning. Let's see if there's any crabbies about this weekend. We got pot number one. Let's see if there's any crabbies. Oh yeah, we got one, boys. Look at that. Pot number one, and we got a crab. I'll get back to you when I'm tying him up because he looks legal to me. Woohoo! There he is, boys and girls. He's a nasty little pasty. Whoa. Beautiful mud crab. I'll get the measure out just to show you. Hold on, I'll put you back around. Me neck. Where's me measure? There it is. Look at that. He is over by a good five mil. Beautiful crab. Nice and hard. Can't push any of that in. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We'll quickly tie him up, I reckon. Give you a quick lesson on tying up. 
So I just got a roll of this. It's called speed string. Electricians use it to get the um, cables through the walls and that. I just get it off the electricians when I need it. But we'll cut a bit of that and I'll quickly tie this fella. Oh, turn around, chair. No shoes for tying. See that, Gary? Crocs, no gumboots, buddy. Reckons I wear gumboots, bloody hell. All right. Get a bit of rope. I usually use about oh, 90 centimeters, I'd say. Let's go about there. The longer, the easier it is. The longer it is. All right. I'll try and set this up so you can see everything that's going on. So you go under the carapace, back up around, loop that nipper, loop that other nipper, pull the nippers in under them and then pull them in like so and then what i do to really pull them in is push him down like that give him a bit of a bit of a wiggle and his nippers will come straight in one little crisscrossy and then belt him up so he's really tight and one more just for good measure and you have a beautiful tied up mud crab and he can't really do anything so you can just leave him laying down there so long as he's got nothing to push off to flip himself over and he's done for we'll go to the next pot eh let's see how we go Alrighty, coming up to pot number two like i said it's where middle moon 50 percent moon today i think it is so i've got a few up the creek and a few out the mouth this is one out the mouth and we'll see if there's any crabbies in it eh we will we will No, not like that. Oh. Now we will see. Wind's a bit strong out here, but that's alright. Gary got him sorted. Pot number two. Feels weighty. Feels weighty. It's another big boy. Two from two, boys. Two from two. We might rebait him and leave him back out here too. Lovely, lovely. Can't complain about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just switch that off. We're gonna get pushed up under the sand bar, but all three bungs will get us out. Oh, come here, my buddy. <sighs> Into the sorting box, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Made a mess of my esky. That's all right. What are you doing in the lid? All right. And here, look at oh, you're slippery. You're a slippery little fella, aren't you? Oh, you better be close, actually. Heavy. Shits it in. Touch them both them spikes, boys. Oh yeah, he's a goodie. Nice and slippery, but <sighs> Bloody slippery. I'll give him a tie up. Got myself a bit of rope. I'll give him a tie up. Oh. Another one bites the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey, Crabby, I'm going to catch you too, another one bites the dust. Two down, let's get some more. See you where my pollen. Alright, coming up to pot number three. This is the one I, I call the crab wallow. They wallow in here. 
but we'll see. There are pigs in here, so I reckon we might even get two. We shall see. Ugh. Float in hand. Come on, grabbies. Oh, we got another biggie. Woohoo! That's the best grab of the day so far. Woohoo! Three from three. Gotta love that. Gotta love. Oh, lucky last pot. Three from three. I'm gonna move that one up the creek as well. Just because we caught the that is lucky they were. boys. And we have a contender. We have a contender. Saturday morning, listening to the fishing show, about to start flicking. I'm gonna give this boat a tidy up, put a nice wet rag on the crabs, because we're making chili crab tonight for the Broncos to kick some butt. But we're just on the search for some bush. Have a look for some bush. Have a little flick. And we might run them pots again and get out of here and have a bit of a family day. But see how we go. We'll see if we can trick a mangrove jack or a barra into eating one of me lures. I'll see you when we're doing Him. He come out. Might have felt the hooks that time. Oh. <laughs> come on, boys. Hey. <laughs> it works guys <laughs> it works oh it's only a cod it was a jack there you go three goes without the pro cure one go with the pro cure
Ah, she's been quite a quiet morning, a couple little hits and takes, got that one good run into the stick and then landed a cod off that same stick, but she's been quiet, it's only been oh, 45 minutes or so, but let's hope we can convert shortly. <coughs> Tide is still running out, bit of movement up here, see how we go, eh? I'll bring you back when we're getting it. Another bloody codly. Ain't got the time. All oh, my friends sitting there wishing. See ya, buddy. It's another cod day today by the look of it. Won't be hanging around too long if that's the bloody keys. Oh, my friends sitting there wishing. Oh, another one, just like the other ones. <sighs> Probably 30 odd model. Not big enough for the wifey. She got up me yesterday because I let go of a legal one. Let's see if we can get another. A bigger one. Oh, what do we got? Another bloody codly. Get out of here. It's a day for the cods, isn't it? See ya, bud. Bloody clown. One, just like the other ones. Can't buy a jackpot today. Just bloody codlies. That's all right. Still fun. Fish are just a bonus. Being out here is the fun. See you, buddy. Oh. Just hit another cod leaf for the boy. Oh. Too little. See a board. See a board. Oh. Could be close, but he's going back. He's going back.
have a go at it. All that for that. Hey? What a bloody joke. All that for another bloody god. Jesus. I'm overused. I said it was fun before, but this again. Fruit bats, flying foxes. They're all up in the trees in there. That's what I'm dealing with, but that's all right. Hopefully their poo might attract some fish. <laughs> we'll see. It's just been a cod day today. We have got one decent one, but the rest have just been little. I think I'm about, I don't even think I've caught them. There's another one. That makes, I think a dozen. A dozen for the day. Uh, what else would you rather be doing though, eh? What else would you rather be doing? Record, but there it is. Nice legal codly, that fella. That one will probably go home to the wifey. He nailed the twitch it on the pause actually. I just paused it for a second and he scalloped it. Check him on the measure, but he'll be over 40 this fella. Uh zero and he's 44. Beautiful. One for the wife. Give him a nice cutting and we will put him in the S guy. Something other than a god. Ah, oh, I'm in love. It's the tiniest barrel I've caught all year. <laughs> Holy moly. That is a relief. That is a relief. Oh. Fella, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'll get you back. Hey, nice little baramusel. See if there's any more in there, eh? See you, bud. <clears throat> I thought that's what I seen. I missed one. See if there's any more, eh? There is, might have found a little school here, eh? 